Hey, what's up, everybody? Video 44 coming into another video. Hey, NBA, you're doing it again. You're making that mistake again where uh, you, you don't realize that a guy is super talented, so you let him rot in the G League for a little too long, or you don't bring him up or call him up or give him a role soon enough. This is happening now with Sharif Cooper. I told y'all about Bol Bol long before he started playing well. I told y'all about Bamba long before he started playing well. Um, you know, Kevin Porter Jr. was somebody that this mistake was made with specifically or they just did not respect the fact that he was really really good and they just didn't have the role for him so they instead of trading him for what his value would actually be or developing him um as their main player off their second bench off their second bench off this in their second unit um they they just kind of like wave those players and just let them walk isaiah roby's another one and you know okc didn't use his value probably let him walk you know these type of mistakes are made Players are just misvalued, misevaluated. Talent is not um, respected sometimes because guys are too young or guys are unorthodox in uh, one way or another or maybe um, some type of comparison issue. Maybe they've seen a player that has certain traits that this player uh, may now show and they don't want to give that player that opportunity because they remind him of a certain other player or some stupid stuff like that that ultimately – gets in the way. I think in Sharif Cooper's case, he was drafted to the Hawks, and we know they have Trey Young, uh, and he's a point guard, you know, and, and if you guys follow me for a long time, I made a video about Sharif Cooper probably about a year and a half ago when he was first um, talked about it right before the draft, and essentially what I said when I did homework on him was that this is somebody who's a showman. Uh, he had some issues who ne he needed to develop in terms of shooting the ball and certain defensive issues and things like that were glaring, so he would need to get a lot better. He was a second-round talent. But he was a super dynamic second-round talent. He's a guy with a lot of sauce, a lot of natural ability, a lot of God-given. You can't teach him that, uh, teach people what it is that he do type stuff. He has a lot of that to his game. And so he's a pass-first guy who makes other players better. And he's a showman who's going to entertain your, your, your basketball club. Now, as he's becoming a G League player, what we'll find out is he's an efficient player, too. He can score. He was 11 of 15 in his last game and had a bunch of assists to go along with it. Now, granted, in the little highlights that I saw, the defense was not NBA-level talent. So, you know, given the fact that that was the case, if he was facing real defense or facing against some, some double teams, I'm sure it would affect some things a lot. But, again, I said he's a passer. So if you throw a double team at a guy like that, you know what's going to happen. He's going to make the open shot or to make the open pass, rather. We watched what Tyrese Halliburton was able to do against the Lakers last night. We're looking at players like Darius Garland and, again, Kevin Porter Jr. Um, players like, um, you know, the guys that they got down there in Orlando, Anthony and Suggs, uh, you know, Cunningham and all these different players who were able to score and assist. The guy we're going to see tonight with the Lakers, um, you know, who uh, Lonnie Walker, who's finding ways of, of, of showing his playmaking ability and things of that nature. I think about Anthony Simons, all these different players who are capable of scoring and assisting at the same time. And I think that this is natural ability uh, with with passing being the first talent. So for me, I just want to see somebody give Sharif Cooper an opportunity so he can show that dynamic ability. And once he does, once he gets into a system uh, that can kind of feature his strengths, um, I think you're going to have a hell of a player, a hell of a player. You know, God-given ability type stuff, like, oh, wow that kind of stuff he has oh wow factors to his game very naturally and i think that everyone in, who pays attention to what's going on in the g league i'm sure is, is starting to notice that uh so i think the nba is behind on that i think he's not being valued properly and i think the team needs to get him with the intent of using him don't make the same mistake atlanta did and don't have um the ability to develop him and allow him to develop properly over time but you put him in a position, you treat him like, say, Markel Fultz has been treated in Orlando for the last several years, slowly and steady. If you get him in the right situation, I promise you, you'll look up and have your starting point guard. He'll be that dynamic of a player, no question about it. Uh, so that's really what it comes down to. He should not be in the G League anymore, I don't believe. Uh, so of course, there's more homework for someone like myself to do. But at the same time, from what I'm seeing in the efficiency and the ability, um, he needs to be leagued. He needs to be league. There are a lot of teams in this league who could use what it is that he does. Um, so that's just something I want to put out there. I think there are teams in this league who are lacking in talent. I think about the Brooklyn Nets who could use a player like him. Uh, my Los Angeles Lakers could definitely use a player, even though we don't use many guards, honestly. But just from a talent perspective, he would be an upgrade uh, in some areas, you know. And so that's just kind of thing 
different teams, you know, considering maybe a guy may go down at the point guard position. Sharif Cooper is somebody you need to call up if that if that goes down. You know, Phoenix, team like that, who has older point guards and things like that. Yeah, y'all need to y'all need to call Sharif Cooper and pull him up and give him an opportunity to be a part of your club. Um, <clears throat> and if he goes to the right club and plays at a high level, he could be the difference between you making the playoffs and not even if you develop him properly and slot him in properly. That's how talented he is. So uh, I'm not saying that he's going to make that immediate impact this year, just off rip. But what I'm saying is he is making that immediate impact in that G League right now. And it's super dynamic, just like Kevin Porter when he was doing it. So um, I've, I've just seen the league make this mistake, man, that we talk about it a lot, you know. And sometimes we look at guys who are on different teams in their roster for, you know, reasons. And we look up and we say, you know what? There's a guy in the G League who I'm sure can do more than what this person's doing. And the owner's not thinking that way, GMs are not thinking that way, or what have you. But some team is going to give a Sharif Cooper an opportunity and have a fantastic player because of it, <clears throat> simply put. And I keep telling y'all this, that I did the same thing with Bobo. Bo. Told y'all that a year and a half ago, two years ago, that uh, any team that decided to give him an opportunity would be the team that strikes gold. I think it was inevitable, and they just... No, no team did it until now with Orlando, and now look at him. Now look at him. I know. So I'm certain of that with Sharif Cooper. Absolutely certain of it. That's pretty much what I got to say. My name is BDL44. I thank you all for watching. Bye.